Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We back. We on the rocks with Jada. On the rocks. The relaunch. <laughs> Here is my co-host. Tell them who you are. Hey, I'm Good D, brother uh, on the rocks with Jada. Okay. He on the rocks with me now. So now that y'all didn't calm down, some of y'all went back to work. Some of y'all still drinking, throwing up from last night. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the best and the worst things that happened in 2022. And I want y'all to give me y'all opinions down in the comments. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button as well for all of the updates. All right. Before we get into your tea. Oh, you know it was 2022. That's gone. That's in the books already. Okay. Let's talk about 2023. Let's talk about the obvious. Let's talk about some resolutions. I don't know. So how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like New Year resolutions work? Because I say I'm going to lose weight every year. And I do like 5 or 10 pounds. You see the belly. And then it's back to oxtail sandwiches. Back like. to peanut butter and jelly and cereal <laughs> at two in the morning. No. That's but, me. That's me. But seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if y'all have a New Year's resolution, what is your New Year's resolution? Uh, how are you going to stick to it? So, D, what's your New Year's resolution? Um, I'm still with my son said when I text him what his New Year's resolution is. And he said, get to the bag. How are you going get to get to the, the bag. bag? How are you going to get to the Hustling, bag? Hustling, baby. Never stopping. This grind. Staying motivated. And sticking to the plans. Okay, okay. That, that mm. is the goal all the time. Right. However, I go through every day and drug deal on my way to work. <laughs> Did you say that on the show? Right. Oh, no. Feds, exactly. I, I work hard. Yeah, I'm, work, I'm, uh, tax I'm a corporate uh, America uh, type you, of girl. You know, so <laughs> get that skill. Get that out of okay, so my new year's resolution is to level up on my personal projects, my side businesses, Facts. and do the rest and do the best in my real career. You know, um, I'm also going to relaunch my boutique for all of you people that don't know. I do have a plus size boutique. I specialize in little cute, little trendy stuff for us plus size. It's fire, y'all. She got all the ladies shit. You know? It's fire. It's fire. So I'll be relaunching that and just focusing on my education and stuff. I hope y'all ass doing something outside of, you know, drinking and dating and arguing about Kanye West on the internet. We love Kanye. Shout out to Kanye. Shout out to good music. Shout out to your boy, Kyrie Irving. Shout, Shout out to Kyrie. Out. Shout we out do to Kyrie. like Kyrie, but all yes. of that, this channel does not support Kanye in any. This this special guest is. <laughs> you did support Kanye. <laughs> Those are not the views and opinions of On the Rocks with Jada. Exactly. You might have to take you another shot. Open that bottle up. Maybe I'm he, trying to get it open, but you Maybe he's too sober to right. think straight. Let me take all that off. So, yeah. Well, so, since we're talking man, about. You. So when since we're talking about what happened in 2022, even though we want to put this here shit behind go, us, here go the bullshit. <laughs> Let's talk about the five worst debacles in in entertainment this year, or I guess the five worst celebrities. So starting with number five, say the worst for the first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say the worst for the first. Are we doing <clears throat> like just worst celebrity overall, or just? They behavior this year, like I mean, straight. this your list, this your show, your list. You tell me. Okay, so we doing first another shot, another shot. Sam on the rocks, twenty twenty two, twenty three, baby. I'm still. A it happens. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Ooh. okay. <laughs> she with Mark, y'all. All right. Listen. So number five. Number five. What you got? So for number five, worse for 2022. Mm -hmm. Just behavior, music, um, all around trashicity. Black, Damn. white, Hispanic. Damn, that, Lord, that's a hey, coming off top of the head. Number five. Number five. Not nobody too trash because we got four more to go. Okay. Damn. I, I, I'm, 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 cat's got my tongue. Cat's got your tongue. Number five. I'm going to say, let's start these, start it out with some leprechauns. The baby. The baby. God damn it. Hey, the baby jam though, hitting the hose in my socks. 
That's one song. How many That's how many tracks think. was it? I don't know. I didn't rent the album. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he trashed. She said he didn't even rent the album. I didn't even rent the album. I know he was in them socks. And he need and that's he looked like a nigga that still run around the house in some basketball shorts on and some socks all day playing the damn game. He didn't no, see. let's just say the baby he been he Trash. been sticking up for himself. He been standing on two tall two feet. Hey, shout Where out to we? the baby for standing on his own belief. That's all I'm saying. You know what? For real, shout out to the baby for standing five foot two tall, hey. baby. It's a lot <laughs> of short men out here. Sh- and they acting real short this short year. Short men stand on this. He's six two. He's like six four. <laughs> he is not your friend. God, baby, exactly. I can't even... So ah, the baby. Ah, oh lord. Stand on that baby. All right. So this is why the baby is trash. So he was piggybacking off of the trash behavior from last year. We thought he was done. You know, he insulted the LGBT community. Right. He was on stage talking about. Sucking dicks in the alley. Why are you concerned about sucking dicks in the alley? <laughs> That's not even a conversation you have with other men. The baby, leave the leave those topics. About don't talk about in your sucking own dick head. in the alley. Leave those topics in your head. Exactly. We hoping take a sip. Sip a champagne. Right. I'm not really a champagne person. It's inaugural, baby. It's too bubbly for me. If you burp, you burp. Back to the baby. We ain't letting these leprechauns loose. <laughs> So he made a song reference having sex with Meg, and we all know what Meg went through this year. And Meg was like, I ain't fuck that nigga. I don't know that nigga. I ain't never seen that nigga. She on the list, y'all. I never. Guess what? Stop trying to claim people that don't want to claim you. I I don't I don't know you. When did the baby claim Megan? He He claimed that he 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 clapped them cheeks. But why you that's it? So why are you telling the world that we had sex if I don't want to tell the world I had sex with you? Well, I would say the only reason he owned this is because you ain't supposed to, you know what I mean? And his album flopped. That's I, enough. Um, the album's still crawling, but... It flopped. Let's say the baby was doing some pillow talking that he shouldn't have been doing on record. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Is it okay to put somebody on blast and say you mess with them? Mm. When you don't want to, if y'all some mm. sneaky links, if girls do that, dudes be tripping. Man, do be no. If hey. I don't want to claim you, I never knew him. I never met him. People can ask, "Hey, Jada, <laughs> my name is Jazz." Never met Sometimes him. Sometimes you gotta gotta stoop to that level to get where you gotta be to get them record sales back up. Everybody doing it. Everybody trying to ride a publicity wave to keep their motion in in motion. Ladies, listen to what he's saying. If you got a cloud chase, if I got to say I fucked the hen out of him. I, women nowadays, they some use Virgo. some key terms that should not be used. All I said was he just keeping his motion in motion. What is keeping motion in motion? That means you already in motion. But sometimes, you know, there's some, some things that might stifle your motion. I know. And so he had to make sure his motion was still in motion. All right. So make the sure baby, your motion still in motion. The baby is cloud chasing. He's co-signing it. He ain't even sure it. exactly. So fuck all that. Let's go to number four. Let's keep number four. Take a sip. Take make a sure sip. y'all subscribe if y'all new to the channel. I have a new a lot of new content coming this year. A dating series. We're gonna review some of these shows. Love and Marriage Huntsville, Real House of Potomac, because the girls are growing. Okay, number four. What do you think of D? Number four. Good Lord. Who My, was trash? Number four on the list. Your girl. You voted for. Let's put Sweetie on the list. Sweetie. Uh, on the okay. List. Sweetie for is on the list. Okay. Sweetie. Sweetie for Talking about cloud chasing. This is a segue from the baby cloud chasing to Sweetie trying to cloud chase off. Ta- off on to Quavo in the midst of the whole takeoff situation. Rest in peace, takeoff. Rest in peace, takeoff. Yes. Yeah, rest in peace, takeoff. We lost a young legend, and mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. takeoff, exactly. But, first of all, I'm not the biggest Sweetie fan, because I think she got pretty privilege. It's a lot of other rappers, Amaretta, just a few girls out here that's killing her, and I think that she's just, like, she got pretty privilege. She recognized that, so I'm, you know, whatever to you. She cute. She is, yo. But 
I think she just chose she bad timing. Ice Spice. What the fuck? Sweetie is cuter than Ice Spice. Ice Spice, though? She got a trendy hairstyle and she thick as hell. Sweetie is you adorable. Ice Spice with the thick <laughs> But Ice Spice got that kind of bad bitch kind of vibe with Sweetie her invented better. that. Sweetie ain't invented no bad I mean, bitch. She, she had a little life. wave. The little icy girl, uh, the little bad bitch song she had. I think Sweetie just had bad timing and I mean... She trash. Her music is trash. I mean, the songs are trash. Like I, w I was on her side because Quavo dogged her for clout, just like the baby. It's a lot of mention. She, tried, she tried to step on, on Quavo too, though. After he did that to her. Nah, before all the behind the scenes, before the elevator and shit, she tried to step on Quavo. No, nah, first of all, they, they was with each other after the elevator. I know, but I'm saying prior to that, this was a whole. Snowball effect right no, now. No, okay, so no. Whatever happened before and we got over it, they made up, we could get over it as well. Thanks. After they broke up, they was both cool. She was keeping it player. Did Quavo keep it player? No. He made a whole video, a song, and everything. Then she released a trash ass album. You was getting but trying we're to talking get about in the midst of all the things that was going on. What Houston. did she do? She tried to right after that. She tried to release this this track on Quay. Like yeah, she was like, ain't going. No, first of all, he did it to her first. So bitch, release the dick pics. If I that I would have did that, oh I would have rolled down his ass. You know, do whatever you want to no, do. No. But the timing was bad. It was very distasteful. This man just had his funeral. They're grieving. You could have left that trash left You could have pushed it back, Pooh. Facts, facts. Push facts. it back. Push it back push like you back. push back your rap skills. Okay. Number four on the list, sweetie. Definitely sweetie. You get that, Pooh. You use a cloud chaser. But you're still like prettier than Ice Spice. And you came in before number three. So, <laughs> <laughs> number three. Number on the three. trash ass <laughs> celebrity list. Number three. Number three for me is Kanye. Oh my god. He was gonna be number one, but it's a few clowns that outlasted him at the end. At the very end, they you know, like, Good music. I'm a motherfucking clown. Good music. What about Kanye? Yes. Sing a new Kanye song. And, and about the Ooh. Kanye. No, you song. just said good music. Yes. He but just said good, good music, music is a Kanye brand that represents a new okay. movement for black folk. Okay. And if he make good music, sing me a banger from this year. They got a few. See? The one that was on with Future. Let's hear it. I forget the name of it. It was That's on Future it was album. Not popping. It was popping. Dude is a big clown. He didn't gaslit his mama, his kids, bought a house, yeah, sold a house. The movement. Dated a white girl that looked like yeah, a fucking... the movement. <laughs> He's fighting the resistance. Yay. The resistance of what? Himself? The resistance of what? People trying to do what? Steal our culture. Steal our ancestry not the same culture where he said george floyd was on that bullshit rest in peace we don't he know said, we don't, don't know he did don't, they release the toxicology report first of all we he, don't know he will not be on my channel <laughs> don't unsubscribe this man we don't know first of all when the Jews start dropping his ass oh, from every deal. The Jewish. I love Jewish folks. <laughs> exactly. I ain't say nothing hey. disrespectful. Kanye did. And we everybody got yet. mad because he got dismissed. Black folks, we need to start dismissing people from our culture like that too. You do something wrong by R. Kelly. And he released the album. By R. Kelly. Oh, that was honor fake. Honorable fake, mention. Fake news. That, honorable that mention. R. Kelly shit was fake news. It No. R. Kelly gets an honorable mention for 20 years of being trash and releasing the album and everybody who the listened album to it, you're a trash was too. Tra it was fake news. He even said Well, his label is trash for releasing it. Y'all trash for spring, uh, streaming put it. it out there. I seen y'all on the neighborhood walk, talk in the shade room and shit. Y'all was streaming it. God don't like ugly. We all know and that R. Kelly ugly. got what he deserved. We going we gonna stray away from that. Okay, so Kanye super trash. Super we trash. don't like the Kardashians, but you've been stressing right. that girl out. Stress. I hope she got some value However, from Xanax. Kanye, at the end of the day, it's trash. We rocking with you from this on um, from the good deed side. Hmm. The views and expressions of uh, your favorite on the watch. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> on this side, we don't, we, boy, fuck you. <laughs> boy, fuck you. Okay, number we two. We ride with you, yeah. Number, number two. two. We might argue. Okay, so one and two. So who, you did, who did number three? I did number three. Okay. So you so, can tell me your one and two and why. Well, I'm going to tell you my two and you do one. Mm-hmm. My number two. Is Megan the Stallion? Put on the list. Wait, we got to get a shot for this debate. Yeah. Because she was ratting and she in the hip hop culture. And so if you are rat in hip hop culture, 69, 69, anybody in the wide cell case, if they rat, Megan the Stallion is a rat. Ooh, so is Gunna an honorable mention? This your show. I'm not. I'm not saying. Gun ain't been in no courtrooms. Gun ain't on no paperwork. He said what he said to get out. We don't know the backstory on that. So uh, in my mind, if it make the list, I'm gonna talk about it. Right now, we on number two. Trash ass making the stallion. If she in the hip hop culture, and she snitching, she gotta abide by the same laws and regulations in hip hop as everybody else. Making the stallion is a snitch. That was a great story. Can we discuss how Meg wasn't going to snitch? She said no, she not. Got, she said I was hit by glass, not trying to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a real serious situation, and it had been a chokehold. In the end, no, ain't no in the end. She you got to talk about she the beginning. Sta- totally she got on snitch. Stand. Why do y'all men keep trying to put bodies on this girl? If she ain't fuck you, she ain't fuck you. She got on the stand and fucked them. Bye bye. That's because she had to tell the truth in the court of law. They was mad because she didn't tell the truth to Gail King. It's not honorable Gail King. No, it's old girl Gail King, Oprah home girl. No, girl, I didn't fuck is, him. Is she on Tory Lane's paperwork? Bad, bad, yes. Uh, she snitched. She Tory around. did it first. Did he not put out a video chopping off her foot? Oh, you think it's funny? Okay, he, j- he had a you few jabs. Child. She went, she went below the belt. Ha! He shot her. And she went, okay, that, keep that in the streets. Listen we kept that in the streets, right? And she was going to because okay. she was, hold on, hold okay. on, hold on. Megan was going to keep it in the streets. Tori put it on the blogs and then put a video out of him chopping her ankle off, and we gonna keep it in the streets. Yeah, get your money off of it, like everything else, and fucking keep it in the streets. You can chop my fingertip off. <laughs> And I'm telling you right now, I'm at the sheriff's department. Like, uh, can I get an APB out on the end? What you, what you tell need to say? Yes, she telling. Girl, this keep is, it in the street. These men are shooting. In any relationship, if you call the cops, wasn't in a relationship. You, she said it don't she matter. They was they was in a friendship at the very least. No, they wasn't. If, if my friend her. called the police on me, we ain't friends no more. She didn't call the police on him. She initially. testified. Can, First of all, Meg didn't file the charges. The state picked up the case because he was talking too much, blabbing his little lips, being a little bitch, like the baby. And then when she was walking in the courtroom, she uh, ha, ha, and didn't give a thumbs up. Bitch, if you don't go sit your personal issues looking ass down. Are we talking about court? Because Tori show brung his baby. Brung that little boy in court just to see his daddy walk away. Come on, say mama. It's all. It, it is what it is. What is going it on? It is what that it is. That was a serious situation, though, and I'm not gonna lie, ladies. Some of those men online watch the comments because it's it's cognitive dissonance. Yeah, I got it's all what? the cop. See, read a book. I'm in, in I'm 2023. Always, I was trying to listen. I know what <laughs> cognitive cognitive. What's yeah. cognitive dissonance? And put them on blast in 2023 as well. It's when you aware of your distance. <laughs> <laughs> you cognitive on how far you are okay so he obviously wrong is some other <laughs> but moving on exactly so no basically he was just an angry little leprechaun ladies notice all the dudes if you post something all the short dudes come in and attack a whole bunch of smurfs you gotta pow no no you don't <laughs> Don't shoot the smurfs, exactly. Listen, listen, but man, come on, man, don't do notice don't do the, short the Napoleon complex. No, it's a serious thing. Google Napoleon complex. I, I would agree. I've worked for several less than average height 
<laughs> individuals. If they below five ten, get them the fuck out of their girl. Preach. They gonna be angry. Testify. They gonna shake you down. They Testify. gonna curse you out. They about to <laughs> Testify. No. Get away from all the short ones, child. And it's true. Okay, number one. <laughs> he, he stressed out, child, because he knows one of his crew. Get it together. Hold on. Let's go through a few honorable mentions. Akon, you're definitely trash. Bad, bad. It's the trash. Trash, trash, trash. I need a higher level of trash to express my trash. <laughs> you can't talk all that come together bullshit and then on the same breath talk about uh, how the brothers perform versus how African people perform. And you just perpetuating the same stereotype that's been around for years, my brother. As if we not all one. We supposed, supposed to be. be. Exactly. So my whole thing with Akon was like, I, don't, I mean, he has no credibility in my Trash. life anyway. Trash. But I first knew you with Jeezy. We was talking about Survivor and Locked Up. And stuff. You were on stage. You was on every BT Hip Hop Preach. Award show. Same one. I'm not the one with me now tonight. All that. No, how you gonna feed off of us and then talk about us? A lot of these people come over here and do that, and that's my issue with them. And I got a lot of African friends. And we ain't got nothing against Africans. Black folks have no issues with Africans that come to this country and seek of a better future. You know what? This so I understand because I like Africans. I got African friends. I used to work in IT. They be like, man, the black folks be talking about us. We talk about each other all the time. That's just our nature. We like to laugh. We talk shit about each other. Thanks. But y'all act like white people better when the white people are the ones who come over here. They don't accept y'all education. Nope. They make y'all start from the bottom. Yep. Meanwhile, the Asians and the Indians come over here. They accept their education. They give them a, a business loan. They set them up for success. So take note of y'all real oppressors. Because we all together. And if you're getting your ass whooped in the streets, we're the one who's going to record and be like, oh my God. So, Akon, get it together. And my African friends, get y'all mother, get y'all together. Get together. <laughs> get him together, too. Okay. I got an honorable mention. Okay, who is your honorable mention? J. Prince Jr. Ooh. You, let's talk about you it. You a fuck nigga in my, in my mind. Let's talk about you it. You a fuck nigga. You ain't hold down, take off. You a fuck nigga. You let the shit happen. You let it escalate. They was under your care. They checked in. They tapped in with you. And you let the demise of one of the greatest rappers in our time. Take off. Right now. One of my personal favorite rappers. Mama. You let him, you let him go to heaven, bro. You and know you what? You a fuck nigga for that. Yeah. You, you, if, if it was a top 10, you'd definitely be on that list, but... We'll let you slide with honorable mention, and it ain't over by a long shot. That's what the streets, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So, all of my classy subscribers, and if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. Jay Prince is, Jay Prince Jr. is the son of Jay Prince. So, allegedly, they have like a lot of pull in the industry. When you go to Houston, they like the gatekeepers of Houston. They like the should night of the South. Everybody right. goes to Jay Prince. Drake was founded by Jay Prince. If you notice, he mentioned him in a lot of his raps and stuff. So he was with Takeoff when he uh, passed. I don't know if y'all watch DJ Academics with his short bitch fat ass, but anyway, exactly. So, <laughs> so he had the video with Jay Prince Jr. there when Takeoff passed away. And it was trash. He left trash. him there. He walked over his body. It was really, the whole situation was trash. But um, even if you ain't have nothing to do with it, God don't like ugly. That karma hit your ass because then you got turned, you turned around and got locked up. And they did that memorial outside of where Takeoff right. passed, and it just had the Prince family on it. It was right. it was really subliminal. Mm -hmm. I ain't like it. I mean, I'm not a street girl. I don't want no drama. I don't want no beef. And a lot of people blamed it on Quavo as well. Y'all don't know what people experience when they experience stuff like that in their family. So let's give him a pass. He is young. And Jay Prince is the one who led them there. So when right. you in Houston, if they last name, let, let's keep going. <laughs> Any more honorable mentions? You know, uh, we I don't really, we don't really mess with Charleston White. I but I'll have a, this ain't an honorable mention, but he said something. 
He said, why, why the fuck are we tapping in with these people in these cities when you can give that same money to security? They carry the pistol. They keep you safe. I just don't get tapping in. I ain't, I ain't tapping in. So how much of that is really tapping in or just clout? Because if you want safety, first of all, we don't trust the law. Well, a lot no. of black folks don't. So you want the hood. You want, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's going to give you some validation. The or hood no. ain't going like, to keep you safe. Apparently not. Or no. the hood going to take you down because they we know. Back though, you. you see what happened in Houston? Back those back no time. You right about that. I got another honorable mention. Let's go. LeBron. And that's his homeboy. But with the Kyrie Irving thing, first of all, I never liked LeBron as a basketball player. He's just a punk to Shout me. out LeBron. No, I always thought like the Jordans and the Kobe's, he could never compete. But I digress. My thing is when Kyrie Irving got suspended, had to pay a half a milli to the industry or whatever, this is your time to shine. And you know what he did? He sided with his Jewish homeboys because he needed his check and he left him out to dry. He really not for the people. He act like he's for the people, but when it's really time to be for the people, he sided with his A money. lot of people say it, though. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, they understand the origin of the film and the premise of the film. Okay. Did Kyrie you watch the film? I, I watched some of it. Okay. Tell the so, camera what happened. Well, it ain't about what happened. It's about everybody saying that there was some anti-Semitic hatred that was portrayed in the video. Okay. Okay. So there's one thing to apologize about the hate. It's another thing to disown the the the, the film in its entirety. So for somebody to say they don't stand behind the hatred is one thing. But to somebody to disown and discredit the movie as I guess factual or I don't, I don't know, revealing. So take note, it's, Netflix didn't take the uh, film down. Or was it Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime. They didn't take the film down. However, when when the Jewish folk started taking them people money, they took some of Jeff Bezos's too. Like a lot yeah, of them. Yeah. So, I say that to say the honorable mention, I still rock with LeBron. I may or may not believe in some of those comments. I still fuck with LeBron. Still been watching him since his rookie year. Uh, and that's that's it. You can't. I that's mean, a great story. Give him a, you gotta if you you gotta give him one pass. He still got the school. He uh -huh. still has a impeccable career. He's still doing things, and he got a movie coming out. It's called House Party. It's coming out January thirteenth. It's gonna be in theaters. We gonna go see it. Take I, a shot. I'm not gonna go see it. I would give LeBron a pass, but he was just smoking on a hookah like he was sucking on a... Mm -mm. <laughs> it is what... I didn't see that part. It was. It was on the thing. And listen, for all my men out there, if y'all watching, it's not that we don't like for a man... To... Right. This is another honorable mm. mention. Men smoking hookahs. You can smoke hookahs all day. Fellas. I know that's some A rap. I know it originated with me and da 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 da. This is what we don't what like. What the said. Smoke a, suka, smoke a hookah. Just don't be don't like. Don't hit the hookah. Don't hit the hookah. Just leave the hookah alone. Right? Leave it to women. Like Jay Z said, we don't drive X5s <laughs> and give them the baby mama. Don't get caught in the X5 to drink the baby mama. Do not hit that hookah because them is for. I will screen record you. I'll be like. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Leave the hookahs alone. We don't want to see that. Okay. Let's wrap this up. All right. If y'all haven't subscribed, make sure y'all hit like. Make sure y'all hit subscribe. And give me some of y'all honorable mentions. I know I missed a few. Um, I missed a few. We was talking about like Real Housewives and television. I have a few more. But we just doing celebrities. Okay. And what's up, boy, who cheated on me along? He get an honorable mention. Oh, oh, two men. Oh, Udoka, <laughs> Udoka, you know, I mean, Udoka or some shit. Baby, you, baby, me alone. Friday, me alone. Hey, running with the me alone got cheated mm -hmm. on. Holly Berry, Beyonce, Jennifer Anderson, Anderson. What does that have to say about it your happens. people? It happens. It, ha shit. it happens. Shit, baby, happens. Baby, we ain't even gonna talk about that today. What's your number one? Number one trash celebrity 
of 2022 we moving on to bigger and better things because these ninjas then lost their mind they made all of us look bad um i got another be honest wait we ain't done with the honorable mentions yet because i want to have a top 10 young then. thug who is the young thug is the honorable mention uh, he's an honorable mention to me just because i just think that the empire should have been protected a lot tighter it, it kind of got it's it's looking sloppy and some of them cohorts are not stand-up niggas and thugs should have saw that that's the only thing i want to say thugs should have thugs should have been a lot more so i'm gonna say this one thing but i know some of them he grew up with but we we support young thug we do this. support young thug because i lo- i ain't like him at first but i love all his we love let that man free the moral of the story is so the other day i was listening to future's um song and if y'all don't know like the, you know ti used to run atlanta now it's kind of more like the future like they run the atlanta music mm. thing i just moved from atlanta i don't like the man but it was great hey, to oh, shout out to my brother exactly but in future song he was talking about the feds coming in he was like i'm gonna be overseas when it happens some some on um night talk or i'm on one on on the song called i'm on one with future he talks about this and i just feel like if anything young thug you should have been prepared you should have been overseas when it happened you should have never been with your whole crew in the house in the house all of this shit happened you got way too much money that's regular it. that's just some regular shit like you should have been far right. removed from that the cops shit. just pull up on you and yeah. you like you don't have a clue you got all these high paid lawyers you got a whole no. clique of people you got a whole network no. of folks in atlanta no. and nobody knew that why no. was about to get hit and even if y'all knew, first of all, even if you didn't know, if you gonna still be out here being dumb in these streets when you got millions, which I don't understand, no, but I man. know, that, I mean, right. Once you get the money, get into real estate, get, get into banking, fuck fucking do some tutorials about how to be a great producer, do anything. But if you gonna still be involved, have them going over to somebody else's house, your baby mama, sister, cousin, whoever house. It should no, it should be no reason all these. It should be a lot of degrees to of your separation. main house. Right. To get the thug, Ugh. you got the whole wide cell in the fucking you know. Child, what? right? But free young thug because it's stressing thug. me out. Because yeah. low key, I need some music for the summer and the winter. We Release ain't got nobody. The music. We have nobody. Release thugger. Release Who do thug. we have? Innocent. Another honorable mention, Drake, and I love Drake to death. Watch this. I don't love your motherfucking ass no more. She exactly. Know, he she always bumping. He Rich should. talk. She bumping all that shit. Motherfucking uh, back outside, boys. First of all, I like a few songs, but the way I used to, I used to be the number one Drake friend, like fan, like Scorpio of the Year. He spoke to my soul with Take Care, and nothing was the same. But don't ever use clout and then lie. You owe Meg an apology too. Who is number one? Speaking of Meg, who's number one? Obvious, ain't it? (laughs) Talk to him. You ain't gotta do more than just say it. Mm, just say it. <laughs> Number one is shout out to Toronto worker. He from Canada. Winnipeg. Win- <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Smurf land. I work with anyway. Smurfs do well. Where is Toronto? Number Ray one from? on Jada on the rocks with Jada's list. Number one on everybody list. Billboard. Not a but fucking MSN, CBC, CNN, MSN, the court files, the true fact, lifetime for show. Tory Hartnerbrig Lanes. <laughs> <laughs> Tory Braxton Hartnerbrig, <laughs> you is the number one trash person of 2023. Trash. Baby, we might not even have enough time to talk about how much trash you didn't give us. Say, this if year. you get away with it the first time, don't egg it on. What is the right. first time? Well, not get it, but if it died down, don't because Meg wasn't going to it speech. back up. Let the shit go. That's some some short. Uh, uh, now nah. exactly. he kept telling her got a uh, gossip of the city tea. Don't follow these blogs, and I hope Meg sue all of these blogs seriously. Putting out. You know she snitched. And what you gonna do? Cause I got a taser and I got a phone. I'm calling the law. I, I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> you hear that? Ladies, I'm snitch, snitch. They can get away with it. That's another catch twenty two and what women can do. That's gonna be a segment. Catch twenty two of what women what, can what do. Women can so do. what should the catch twenty three about what these midges be? Shooters, killers. <laughs> these niggas shoot at you. Uh, they say he drug Kelsey. Pulled out all the evidence, and then when they pulled out every, all the evidence, everybody was like, "Man, I don't want to hear this shit no more." Man, I don't even like. It. No, <laughs> this man is crazy. He lied on this girl. He gaslit her. All the celebrities turned against her. Shout out to Nikki, who put Drake up to that bullshit. Talking about some, she trying to get sympathy. This I girl was Nikki. shot. I love Nikki. You love Nikki. Yes. Honorable mention. No. Nikki. No. Nikki. <laughs> no. She's an honorable mention. No. Yeah, exactly. For that no. trash ass no. super freaky I love girl. Nikki. I used to love Nikki, but that's another video for another, another time. Another, yeah. Exactly. Back to Tori for being trash, for shooting Megan the Stallion, gaslighting all of society, having her peers turn against her, paying off her friend, bringing his son in there, his short ass motherfucking daddy, blaming Rock Nation. Like the trash just never ends. I don't know all the details. I just know. You want me to pull up the details? Uh, that is. Let's wait. Let's do Cognitive that show after dissonance. he gets sentenced. Cognitive. To probation. So, in the comments, tell me how much time y'all think Tori should get. How much should. time should he get? Probation. <laughs> to shoot somebody? Yeah, you you, you go. Fragments. That bad. You shot At a gun. The very least. If you shoot a gun, do you At think the they're going to give him 22 years? No, I don't know. Right. So why should he get Probation. Because he's short? Can because he's a celebrity? Um, no. He got to do it. He lied. He wasted the court's time. First of all, he was found guilty. Nobody, he didn't admit it until later. Bye bye. And now that he found guilty, I hope Meg sue him in a civil case. I want every little piece of change and crumbs you have. Mm. Sue those bloggers. Mm. Definitely sue EJ punk ass. And you know what? I like EJ. EJ is cute, but EJ used to have her in them motherfucking stirrups and them cowboy outfits at the beginning of her career. We ain't forgot, and she still stood by your side with them ugly ass outfits on, and everybody was telling her to get a new stylist. We gonna talk about it. Your best friend from St. Louis gonna tell you the truth. EJ was trash. Kelsey, super trash. She just posted something like, I hope the Lord takes me away from the devil and the enemies. In my Bitch, you're the fucking enemy, bitch. I don't care if I did fuck with your man, which that wasn't your man because you wasn't even mad about him trying to fuck with Kelsey and you was on the phone with him after he shot your friend? Never, never. Yeah, men don't understand this, but if we've been no, friends for not. 20 years and we've been going back and forth, you know how you had them friends that you got a side eye? Because I had a few Aquarius friends and they kind of trash. As a matter of fact, super trash. But you never, you're not going to lie about you shooting my friend. I could have just cursed you out and whooped your ass. And if you shoot my friend, I'm going to beat your little short ass. I'm going to fucking beat your ass. Don't shoot my friend. This I shit. Kelsey Trash, I hope she sue her. I hope she sue every person who crossed her. Even Drake punk ass. Life skin man behavior. How many years Tori gonna get? I hope he get 22 and a half. God damn. Just for bullshit. If he would have told me. Right. No. That's fresh <laughs> That's fresh If he would have told the truth. No, if That's he would have told the truth. I right. think he should have got like two years if he would have told the truth. Nah. But you gonna gaslight me? That's my. You know what? We doing away with gaslighting in 2023. Just tell the truth. I can't whoop your ass. 22 years. Well, nothing should... happened. She's still alive. She may have got some scarring. It was fragments. A whole bullet didn't even enter her foot. And it was, I mean, it, it was some publicity. You cannot shit. rationalize another person's I'm pain. just saying, okay, he was Let's found stop guilty. doing it, y'all. Is it worth 22 years? It's worth however many years Meg think it is to get no. over it. No, it is. Probation. That's just like Probation. you kill somebody, Probation. and then oh man, it should only be ten. Now, I'm gonna be in pain for thirty years. Probation, you should get thirty and a half. Pro house arrest. <laughs> house, house arrest. Child, two years. I'm not gonna slap my guest this year, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna slap my guest. This Five year. years probation. Six months house arrest. Child. He got to go on tour and do like advocate speech. He didn't have an advocate for what? Short man syndrome? Community service. 
Let's right? advocate for getting these Some toxic men shows. out of our lives. Release that Let's man. advocate uh, for cutting off trash ass friends because Meg, I love you to death, poo. I'm gonna still support your album, and it's the hot girl summer. But don't fuck your friend, man. It's you weird. got tons of niggas out here, but that wasn't Kelsey, man. And I think Kelsey a liar too. They was all fucking them. I think that's what the T was. Even, because Kelsey uh, ain't said that. Even uh, what's her name? Kylie. Sucking them too. Can we Kylie talk about Scott how Kylie got off on tour? Chris Jenner is the goat, and I hate to give it to certain people, <laughs> but she is the goat. <laughs> I didn't see that. The white. I didn't see that. <laughs> I like some of my white homegirls, but nah, that bitch Chris Jenner is a motherfucking goat. Because Kylie should have been on the stand. We should have known what Kylie had to say and what happened at that house. But no. But she, she was wasn't protected. even on the scene of where it happened, so she shouldn't have been on. But they testified to what happened, how Meg was at the party. So Magnum should have had somebody to attest to that, but Kylie probably was sprung, and we know she a little hoe, so she not finna get on the stand because she might have had to admit that she fucked Tori when she was going with Travis. Mm. But that's just a little extra. Little extra, little extra. Okay, so we got let's let's do a recap. Number five coming in, the baby. Trash. Number four coming in, sweetie. Why not trash? Oh. Number three coming in, Kanye. Lunatic trash. Number two is Meg on the list as trash. I think we swapping Meg out for a bunch of these other men. Just Javante Davis. Nothing happened. He didn't hit his baby mama or the baby. Meg, you kind of trash, but you ain't trash to me. Blessings in here. Okay, why is she kind of trash? Because... We don't know how she played Kelsey, but Kelsey is or a snake ass bitch. No, she probably knew Kelsey was a snake ass bitch. They didn't know each other. She probably knew she was a snake ass bitch. And Aquarius are really calculated. But Meg is a bully too. She was beating on that little boy. What the fuck? Kelly needed to get beaten on. He ended up shooting her. She probably right after she was beating on him. She saw the bitch in him and she whooped oh his short God. ass. She was beating That's on why I don't talk ass. to these short dudes. She was beating on buddy ass. Yeah. And that's what led up to her getting We counseling everybody under five seven. In her unless you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to follow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And number one number is one, Tory. Tory. He was so much trash. We can't even stomach the trash. Even his supporters, when the evidence came out, they was just like, man, shit trash. Miss Jada said, give him 33 and a half years. And a give him more than Young Thug is facing. Free Young no. Thug. Young no, probation. And, and that probation. one dude who just snitched on him. That that looked like the star that broke the camel back on he that. He was one. like, I know. Dude, the last guy was sad. like, oh yeah, he paid me to go to somebody's house after the murder. He had like he got 15 years probation. Like, so snitching is for people who do the they crimes with them. people they and then they them. tell us Check regular folks. We, he talked to White said another thing. I'm he said telling. Compared the Young Damn. Thug Rico case to where all these snitches start snitching to the white boy biker gang, biker gangs, they was in the same Rico case. It was 208 of them or 200 something of them. Multiple gangs. They all got off because why? Nobody snitched. Nobody snitched. Shout out to the banditos. Them bikers, they don't Shut play no games. Y'all, <laughs> keep your mouth closed. <laughs> no. And you might go to the crib. The moral of 2022 is if you do some dirt, do it by yourself. Lonely. And if you do it with somebody else, you give better, that bitch some hey, pills so they won't remember make, it again. But no. Make sure that they, <laughs> she said, give them some mind raising pills like men in black. I know. Sit <laughs> with <laughs> a <laughs> juke. I know. <laughs> <Right. laughs> you didn't see me just slap this nigga. Okay. Anyway, we out of here. Wait, I got one more. One more, one more, one more, oh, one more. Lord, thing. He one got another. For 2022. Best new artist. Best new artist. Oh, we only get one. We only get one. We're going to think about it and we're going to say it on the count of three. Hold to on. Close out the show. The best new artist. Best new artist. Okay. On the one. count of three. One, two, three. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes.
Right, bro, you even got the dudes in the chokehold. Ain't hey. no argument. Sam G came in, did what needed to be done, but Top they see. This is why Glow number one for me. And I'm a Tell big em. person. Tell em. Glow came out with Fuck Nigga Free. I That's love tomorrow thing. before Cardi got on. And then Cardi Come came on. on with the verse of the year. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all listen to some of Glorilla old songs, some of her old music, Slap. Glow, do it for the people. Re release all of that old Slap. stuff. I want all of it. I want damn. I should go in ham. This is not the ham. Hey, the shit off the wham. <laughs> go uh, Google all, go get on YouTube and search bust. all the Glorilla old stuff yes. because it, it's all busting. She Bust. is the top artist. The women Bust. in the rap game really killing the men. Yes. That's why they mad. That's why Javante Davis beating his girl ass Ooh. and I digress. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's been good. Show. It's been a wrap for 2022. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all set y'all New Year's resolutions. Do y'all Happy believe in them? Let New us know in the comments. Get Give me bag. your top five. Whoever's yes. trash and I miss them, let me know. Let and make sure y'all come back for the next video. Yeah, make sure yeah. you like, subscribe, and follow Good D. Good D. Yeah, yeah. Follow. And we out. One more drink. One more drink. Happy Good. New Year. Bam.